I don't pray to mind me, baby, let's do it. Y'all see me fly and never drop down, drop down, smoking high, am I am not round, I'm not round, no denying what I got now, I got now, keep an eye out, keep it locked down, locked down, see me fly and never drop down, drop down, smoking high, am I am not round, I'm not round, no denying what I got now, I got now, keep an eye out, keep it locked down, locked down, you're too strong when I battle with the beast, bring a few on, the commander and the chief, for my crew on Bullets rattling and whistling at your tooth Never sleep by his open hands Clutching on my throat This a war zone This a war zone Oh, I can't hear you, Frank This a war zone This a war zone Zone, homie, say you ready and prepare Take a minute and make them aware Well, I'll be sneaking in the back But it's worth the clap, homie, life ain't fair Caught me crawling through the mud Where the vision saw it clearly Born a shepherd to these sheep Make them fear me, this a war zone Trashed out, trap house, nothing ever forgiven Yeah, every day's a blessing Thank the Lord, oh, how I'm living See me riding with my top down Oh, cops round, pedal pressing on the gas I don't think I'll ever stop Okay, so I've gone in for two reasons. The first reason being, I'm hoping and I'm praying that my wife is still there so she can land my kite. And the other reason I've gone is because I know that I'm starting to get a little bit tired. I've only been out for maybe 15 minutes or so. I've only done five jumps and I know I'm starting to get tired. So I don't want anything to go wrong when I'm starting to get fatigued. There is a tether leash at this beach, but I know that my chicken loop doesn't fit into the carabiner very well because it's too fat. So I'm a little bit apprehensive to go and do that, especially with this wind. And I'm kind of looking around to see if there's anyone else that can land me. I'm just, I'm, 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 I'm quite comfortable holding the kite there. Um, and I'm looking up and down for, for anyone. Now, now I see someone who I think is a kite server, so I whistle, I'm tapping my head. I'm just trying to, the best way I think now is just to get someone to land my kite. Now there is a kite surfer in the water who's on that 5 meter. I actually helped him launch his kite and we had big difficulty with his really super light surfboard that was flapping around in the wind. So I knew that this could have posed more of an issue if he was on his 5 meter with his surfboard flapping around trying to land my kite in these conditions. So I, I kind of avoided that scenario. So after a 10 to 15 minute wait on the beach with no one around to land my kite, I decide to start preparing to get ready to eject my kite in these conditions. My kite board is out of the way and now I'm just mentally preparing myself and what's to come next.
Okay, do another one. Do another one of those knots. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video. There were definitely some lessons that I've learned from this experience and things that I know I can improve on. Um, I have watched the video and I'm gonna link the video in the description underneath this, which is about self landing and, and stuff and they actually use a core bar. Um, apparently I've done a textbook self landing quick release but it definitely didn't feel that way when you're in the conditions and the wind's blowing like whatever it was, 28 to, to 40 knots around there. So I'm keen for anyone to give me any feedback, um, anything I could have done better, and uh, just try and learn together about things in kiteboarding that can help make everyone a little bit safer when we do find ourselves in these situations. Thanks for watching, and may the winds be with you. Yeah.